Really quick before this really quick video, Arlo and I are going to be at the Sacramento Gamers Expo on December 10th. I really hope to see you there, we'll have a panel at 1045, but otherwise we're just going to be there all day hanging out talking with all of you guys. Hope to see as many of you there as possible. So this is a quick video that is sort of a simultaneous trailer of what's to come as of next year and also explaining the whole uh, why next year might be the last year of Noggin. So let's, let's start with a positive note, let's see that awesome trailer, and I should note real quick, none of the visuals in this trailer are actual videos that are in production, rather this is just a trailer showing you what the new look is going to look like, so the new visual style. Kick it off. So, what did you think? I'd like as much constructive criticism as I can get down in the description. There are still a few kinks we're working out. Um, the video that I'm going to post a link to here about Pokemon Professors is the, the first video in this new style. Um, there's going to be a few more intermingled throughout the next month up until next year, but starting next year as the vast majority of videos are going to be in that style. Though, like I said, we're still working out the kinks. I hope it works really well. And the main reason we're changing styles so drastically is because uh, we're giving Noggin one last push to try to get it back to the view counts and the revenue counts that it got just like a year ago. Uh, since all YouTube's changed, been changing a lot of things and basically this channel is possibly one of the victims. Just because it doesn't make enough to be profitable. About half of the videos we make end up losing money because uh, we have editors. Uh, we have writers where this I know I'm the face of the channel and I do the bulk of it But I can't keep up a, a channel that's as heavily edited as this one and not have help And I have to pay those people and a lot of those videos don't make enough ad revenue to keep up with Everything and that's what patreon's for but even patreon has been slowly dwindling so moving forward next year the channel is going to focus a lot more on what we know works. There's gonna be less experimentation outside of visual style. And we're upping that visual style, making it just look so much cooler, more smooth, flashier. Basically all in an attempt to just give it one more push, see where it goes, make sure it works out, and if it doesn't work out by summer, or by the end of summer, uh, there probably won't be a Noggin 2019. So it's not a definitive 2018 is the last year of Noggin, but it is a, there's a pretty good chance, unless YouTube gets its act together, unless Noggin gets back to being profitable and worth the time. It's always, this is always a weird subject to talk about, because like there's, there's the worth the time creatively. I love working on this channel. Josh, the main assistant, loves working on this channel. Smoof, the fantastic editor that's the most, edits about half of the videos now. Nasida, another fantastic editor, has been working a lot harder to get more and more videos out at a faster pace. Uh, there's a few other smaller editors that have helped out time to time and they've been dwindling throughout. It's the same with writers, there's loads of writers. We're a decently sized group of people that loves working on these videos, but you can only work on a video so much before you get exhausted, worn down, so you have to stop. Especially when you are an editor for a channel and you work a part-time or even full-time job on top of that, you have to learn how to balance the two and that's not exactly the easiest thing to do. I want Noggin to succeed. I want to be able to sustain myself, sustain Josh, sustain everyone that works on it. But the, looking at the trends, the graphs are all going down and down and down. Um, so, one last push. Let's give it a go. And, 
as a safeguard, uh, we are going to be starting a second channel in February, March-ish. It's a second channel that basically is the same thing we do here, uh, but it'll have fresh analytics, um, so YouTube won't be punishing it as much. Uh, and I hope to see as many of you there as possible. It's a channel that is basically the same thing we do here, but not... Are you knocking stuff over? You are knocking stuff over. Uh, basically, it's going to be the same channel as style as this channel, but non-gaming related, or like non-media related. It'll talk about geography, history, fun facts galore, just fun stuff in the usual personality style that we got going on here, but more general. And we're hoping that that would be able to coexist with Noggin. We have more editors and more help to m manage both of them. Um, because not everyone likes playing games, whereas we could be just as creative, just as interesting, just as fulfilling to us to do a second channel. Then that, when, when that gets posted, there will be links all over the place, and there will be Twitter stuff all over the place, and like all of the, all of the Noggin videos are going to be promoting that second channel also, so stay tuned for that. I hope to see as many of you there as possible. Same thing with the Sacramento Gamers Expo, which is happening on the 10th. Uh, yeah, that quick video. Let's hope for a good year. Because, you know, this is what I and the whole team loves doing. And we want to see it keep going. But if it doesn't work out, then hmm, we'll shift our focuses to the second channel entirely. Get it going, because it legitimately has a lot more potential for being actually both fulfilling to us and actually work out as being all of our jobs. Uh, just because it has a higher audience potential. That's just the way YouTube is these days. You help me not be super stressed out all the time. You like that, don't you? Mm -hmm. And just to continue rambling on in circles, uh, next year is just gonna be... fancy. Let's just put it at that. Uh, videos are gonna focus more to... We've, one of the main issues that Noggin has as a channel is that it's too broad, and YouTube doesn't like that. We cover Mario, and then we cover Pokemon, and then we cover Metroid, and Metroid isn't that popular, and then we cover Zelda, and apparently Zelda fans don't like watching videos about Zelda because Zelda videos never do that well. People subscribe to a channel for a specific thing. Say they like delving into the psychology of characters, So, and I do that sometimes, so they subscribe after seeing a couple videos in that series of mine, but then I post a couple Pokemon theories, and they're not super into that, so they skip two or three videos of mine, and then I'll never show up in their subscription box again because that's just how YouTube works. There are a few select channels that have been around for a very long time that YouTube will still promote if they're sizable enough and viewership enough. It all depends on what YouTube views your channel as viewableness, and it's a very complicated thing, but basically, the algorithm is murdering this channel, and that is why we are going to bump it up, focus a lot. So moving forward, starting next year, the channel is going to be Mario, Pokemon, Mario, Pokemon, other. Mario, Pokemon, Mario, Pokemon, other. Maybe Mario, Pokemon, other, Mario, Pokemon, other, but this is just what we gotta do. You can't be this broad. I mean, we've, we've delved, and there's still a few videos in the works right now that are very other, delving into things that are totally different. We have one about Legos coming up. We have a Pokemon card opening hilarious video coming up. There's a couple anime and TV show videos coming up, and those individually, those videos might still do really well. Uh, the Rick and Morty one I did worked fairly well, but as a whole channel scheme, doing things that broad and different, it kills the channel because of the algorithm. So we gotta focus. At least with the, the idea with the second channel being, you know, broad and everything covering history, geography, fun facts and stuff like that, at least the overall theme is education in a fun, very highly edited way. And that's broad enough that it's not a spe specific franchises. You know, you get what I'm trying to say? It's education but fun. fun education. It, there's a word for that, I forgot. But basically, it's so broad that it's general. Anyone can enjoy it. Whereas, if you're a channel talking about games or movies or anime or something, Someone that loves Pokemon might not like Mario. Someone who loves Cowboy Bebop probably would hate if... Mario. When it comes to a general idea, generally people like general ideas. Whereas when you're talking about specific franchises, but pulling, you know, here's a Mario, here's a Zelda, here's like Bendy out of the blue. 
people who like Mario and Zelda might not necessarily like Bendy, so they skipped that one. Now, the whole channel is potentially at risk because of the way YouTube works these days. It's all very complicated, I might have bored you enough. Basically, long story short, as I've said a few times now because I'm rambling in circles and that's just the theme of this video, good luck to this channel next year. Let's hope it works out. I'm trying to stay positive, Sasha. Mmm, positive. <laughs> yeah, you want down. Yeah? Mm. You gotta be positive. Stay positive. I don't want your butthole in my face. Keep your butthole out of my face. You gotta be positive. Channel's gonna work out. All these changes are gonna work. It'll get better. We'll actually be able to do this and not constantly worry about budget. Thanks as always for being amazing and yeah, toodles. Now you're a per machine. You like that. I haven't heard you purr this hard in a long time. You must like the attention of the camera. There's millions of people. There's like 20,000 people watching you. Yeah. I probably can't pick that up, but she is purring. Oh man. Oh, <laughs> you want more, huh? Why are you still here? I'm just petting a cat. Well, now she's gone. Really quick before this really quick video, Arlo and I are going to be at the Sacramento Gamers Expo on December 10th. I really hope to see you there, we'll have a panel at 1045, but otherwise we're just going to be there all day hanging out talking with all of you guys. Hope to see as many of you there as possible. So this is a quick video that is sort of a simultaneous trailer of what's to come as of next year and also explaining the whole uh, why next year might be the last year of Noggin. So let's, let's start with a positive note, let's see that awesome trailer, and I should note real quick, none of the visuals in this trailer are actual videos that are in production, rather this is just a trailer showing you what the new look is going to look like, so the new visual style. Kick it off. Mm -hmm. 